don't swim under the influence. Don't drive under the influence, don't swim under the influence. Are you telling me the drug is the cause of death or is it the drug plus swimming or driving, right? People get drunk all the time, they don't die. People drive all the time, they don't die. People get drunk and they drive, they crash their car and die. People go swimming all the time, they don't die. People take drugs all the time, they don't die. People go swimming plus they take drugs, then they die. What's the fault? We could just as easily say that swimming is the cause of death. We should ban all swimming. Like, why are we not paying more attention to the dangers of swimming? This headline should have said, uh, Matthew Perry died from swimming. Warning, you should never swim without understanding that there's a risk of death. There's a much greater risk of death from swimming than there is from ketamine. If you look at the amount of swimming deaths versus ket ketamine deaths, far more swimming deaths. The risk of death swimming versus the risk of death ketamine, the, the risk of death swimming is far greater than the risk of death from ketamine. So <laughs> why are we blaming ketamine? This is what I mean. This is just insane misinformation. Again, it's not that any of the information is inaccurate. It's just that the way that they say it, the way that they emphasize the ketamine being the problem when ketamine is, is, is a very, very possibly not even a factor, but a very small factor in his death. That's the misinformation. Tired of supplements that don't work? Then head to enhancedlabs.com and 10% off when you use the code below. Link in the bio.